So the big $10 million SWIFT contract to bring better internet service to the rural parts of uh, Dufferin was announced last week, and I've held off on discussing it until we got some real details, which became available recently. This includes service maps showing who can actually get the improved internet service and how much is actually being paid for by the internet service provider. And I've had a de- chance to take a deeper look, and I've done some analysis. So hi, I'm Josh McEwen with Dufferin News. And I'll just start off by disclosing that before I started working on Dufferin Spotlight full time, I used to work for Bell in product strategy, where I did things like pricing and competitive intelligence. So I know a little bit about this stuff, and I thought I would do some rough analysis on it, given the information that is available. But anyways, last week a deal that was worth over $10 million was announced uh, by Swift, or Southwestern Integrated Fiber Technology, that would lay fiber along 132 kilometers of road that passes 1,663 premises. This project uh, involves five internet service providers, some big and some small. And as you'd expect, it looks like the big guys come out winning uh, relative to the small guys. That being said, if you are in the Hornings Mill area, you may be the luckiest of the bunch. So anyways, let's jump into it. Thanks. So as you can see here, um, you can see that the Hornings Mill area is getting uh, service. Laurent Camilla, Marsville, Mansfield, and Garifraxa Woods. Um, the Horningsville area includes Reddickville, Horning, I mean Honeywood, uh, Black Bank, Ruskview, Terranova, Kilgory, Hornings Mills, Whitfield, and Springwater Lakes. Laurent Camilla includes Laurent Camilla, Marsville includes Marsville, Orden, Price's Corner, and Craigsholm, Mansfield and Krugs, includes Mansfield. And uh, Garifraxa Woods includes Garifraxa Woods. I know this isn't that detailed. I'm going to show you a map here in a couple seconds where actually it shows you where the fiber is being laid specifically in these areas, which is great. Um, And also here it shows you um, the information that we've seen before, which is the premises that it passes and the fiber road kilometers. And then including the recipient here. And now this is new information. Um, How much of the project was being contributed, uh, the funding was being contributed by SWIFT. And then again, the, the project value. So when you, when you get all this, you can do a little bit more uh, information and it can kind of give you more context around these numbers and see who, uh, who, who uh, we're a little bit more luckier to have here um, versus someone that just made a good business decision. Um, I mean, they all made good business decisions. That's the only reason why they're doing it. But I mean, you can see who's really benefiting from uh, this federal funding and who waited to see uh, to do this because, I mean, we all know who's uh, collecting money from turbo hubs and uh, wireless internet services. Um, and it's not a lot of these little guys that are what well, you'll see that it's going to take them a little bit longer to get their money back versus the big guys. Um, but again, we'll, we'll see here. We'll, we'll look into it uh, specifically, but anyways, um, starting off with the service maps, we'll uh, get started by looking at the service maps and then we'll go more into a little bit of the financial analysis. Um, Cause I know everyone wants to know who's actually getting internet here. So we'll start off with Hornings Mills here. And as I mentioned earlier, um, these guys are the luckiest of the bunch, um, in my opinion. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll actually see what happens. And uh, you can let me know if you're from Hornings Mills because I've never actually used these guys for internet service. But uh, just looking at the prices, uh, you're, you're in luck. But anyways, uh, for the Hornings Mills project, it's going along third line here, uh, down Dufferin County Road 17, uh, then down, down Dufferin County Road 124, uh, pretty much until you get to uh, Shelburne. Uh, there's a little bit of chunk of uh, fist side around there, and uh, to be honest, I'm not great with uh, with directions, so I'm not gonna pretend like I am. But anyways, uh, there's a little subdivision here. I imagine this is a subdivision. Uh, no, but there is quite a few homes here, so that's good that they're getting covered. Um, Cause okay, it looks like there's there's lots here. Okay, at that time. So, yeah, there probably is quite a few homes here at that point. Um, so, good. So, these guys will be get, getting covered uh, with fiber, maybe even fiber right to the home. So, that's great. Um, but, anyways, um, and you can see where it goes up here. Um, I'm going to turn this back on because I don't know where I'm going. Dufferin County Road 124. But, anyways, uh, oh, they screwed up the map now. Okay, I'm going to refresh just because... Um, this mapping service they chose isn't the best. Um, but anyways, yeah, see, this is where they screw me. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, Dufferin County Road, Road. So you go down Main Street and Hornings Mills there. 
and yeah, it's not as great. River Road. Okay, so yeah, down to uh, the town town line of Mulmer and Melanchthon. So yeah, so and you can kind of see where it goes here. Uh, there's probably a lot of homes here. I'll turn on the imagery here. Yeah, there's quite a few homes at that time. So it makes it worthwhile for them to go here. Um, and you get all the way up there. But uh, anyways, that's where it is. And just so you know, this blue area here is what's not eligible for funding, um, which is Shelburne, because presumably they have, uh, they're covered. Oh, Melanchthon as well, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see there, that's where it goes up through Honeywood, Mulmer, Hornings Mills, and uh, down to the, to the Shelburne there. Uh, but anyways, uh, the next project that there is, is Laurel. And uh, you can kind of see how that works here. So Laurel here. Laurel around D down Dufferin County Road 10. Uh, down uh, to Farmington, which means they're going down Dufferin County Road 11. Because I'm terrible with directions, so I'm going to have to actually know. I don't know these roads. Uh, and second line. And then it gets up to Camilla here, uh, where it, uh, yeah, and then up to Shelburne, up along uh, whatever this road is, Mono Amaranth Town Line, up to Shelburne, and then, uh, yeah, up into Camilla, and then down here, uh, down to Dufferin County Road 16, and you can see what these houses are, yeah, there's a subdivision here, or at least a bunch of grouping of houses, so it makes it worthwhile for them to go down here, and then these guys benefit as well. And it gets them close to this fiber here. Um, but anyways, um, for all we know, maybe they'll even connect these guys, even though it doesn't look like there's actually needed. Um, but anyways, um, you can kind of see where, again, where it goes up, uh, up until Camilla here. This is where Camilla is. Um, yeah. So that's that road. Um, they're a little less fortunate than the guys up here in uh, Hornings Mills. They have a different internet service provider where it costs uh, a little bit different, a little bit more a month, uh, maybe even significantly more. It actually is significantly more. They're more about the same price as everybody else. It's really the only one that really benefits from low prices. And this whole deal is the people in this Hornings Mill project. Um, but we'll see where it goes. Anyways, um, the next project is uh, Marsville. And uh, we'll go here. And you can see where it goes in the prices corner in Orden. See, this is the map I want to see. This is a good map. Um, this is the Bellbrook project. That's different. But anyways, you can see Orden, Craig's home, prices corner in Martinsville. It goes along Dufferin County Road 3 and down 10th line there into Orden. And then east-west Garifraxa town line. I'm just learning there's actually a west Garifraxa. Again, terrible with directions and knowing things like that. Um, but anyways, oh yeah, so a lot of people are getting uh, internet along there too. Um, again, not benefiting from real low prices here, but it's better than probably what they're paying right now. Because again, a lot of these guys are probably relying on uh, satellite internet or uh, turbo hubs from Bella Rogers. And those you're paying a lot. There's no unlimited internet services there. I think actually ExploreNet does now, but uh, Bell and Rogers... Um, they're probably not offering um, uh, actual wireless internet there. They're probably offering it through a turbo hub where they use the cellular network. Um, but anyways, um, we'll get into the next part here. And I believe this one is a Rogers project, actually. I'm going to have to refresh. Yeah, this is the Bell project, I think, actually. But... Uh, We'll see there in a second. Um, but anyways, you can kind of see here on Mansfield. Um, of course, it doesn't actually show me. So this part here is covered um, by uh, by somebody. And I actually think it's uh, Bell, um, for what I remember. Because I remember doing the research here. Um, so yeah, it goes from Mansfield um, down this road. Um, again, I'm not going to pretend like I actually know. Dufferin County Road 17. And uh, you get to Everett. Yeah, this is the Bell line. So remember looking at the, the prices up here in Everett. Um, so anyways, yeah. So you go around Dufferin County Road 5. And uh, then this little subdivision here in Mansfield is going to get covered. Um, which is, uh, you can see here, Thompson Trail. 
and Adrian Avenue and Somerville Crescent and a couple of Mace Crescent and Jeffrey Drive. Um, they're all going to get covered um, from the sounds of it. So that's great. Again, I'm going to assume that there is, I'm pretty sure I've looked at this already. Yeah, there's a bunch of homes here, so that's why it's getting covered. And these guys all benefit, which is great. Um, there is some groupings of homes along here, but I, I think this one's the big kicker um, for, for Bell to get into this one. I think this is what actually, like, basically what allows them to uh, double the rest of the guys when it comes to how many homes are per kilometer. Because it's like, I think this project has like 17 homes per kilometer or 22. Rogers and Bell have the highest density. Um, but we'll take a look here in a second. But anyways, um, there's one more project to look at before we're done looking at the service maps. And that is Garifraxa Woods. And this is uh, being done by Rogers. Um, the other ones were um, were smaller guys, um, relatively speaking. Um, Kojiko is not that small, but it's smaller than the big three, that's for sure. Um, no solo network, network yet. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so you can see how it, how it goes from A-Line to Old Carriage Road up until County Road 23. Um, but it doesn't hit County Road 23 because it presumes that there's actually fiber there or coverage there already. Um, so anyhow, uh, you can see here, um, that's where it is. And this is a relatively pricey project, um, considering how little it covers. I mean, when you compare it to the Mansfield one, it's like significantly less uh, road covered. Um, but I mean, it is kind of hilly in here and things like that. So, I mean, maybe it makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how much is actually, um, they're paying for how little they're actually covering. But, uh, it's most likely necessary. I mean, when you look at the project itself, it doesn't look like uh, Rogers is uh, screwing anybody over from the looks of it. But anyways, I, I don't know, um, to be honest with you. Oh, there's always ways to do what you want to do. Um, and I wouldn't put it past anybody in this business, just knowing what I know. Um, but anyhow, um, we'll look at the actual numbers next. And that is where it gets more interesting, uh, at least to me. But I know for a lot of you, um, you'll probably tune out after this because I showed you where, who's getting internet. And you can look at that. Um, you can see those service maps for yourself on the Swift website. Um, if you go to uh, resources, our service map, and you can just type in the coverage area you want to look at um, in the address bar here. And again, going to um, check out light gray base map and light gray canvas if you want to see the actual roads imagery, if you want to see the kind of the housings and stuff like that, the satellite imagery. Um, but yeah, anyways, again,